Alright guys, today the video is Golden Slumbers by The Beatles. This is the next hired request on my list. And just churning these out steadily. Uh, sounds like this. Uh, let me start again. This is the free part one I always put on YouTube. If you have never seen my videos, hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. The rest of this song series to complete this song, Golden Slumbers, is on my website, webpianoteacher.com, along with about 1,500 other videos of uh, lessons of all types that you can imagine, um, using my whiteboard technique to help you to play, learn to play by ear. I also have some note reading, sight reading lessons on there as well. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. That's the best way to contact me. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. Uh, if you'd like to hire me to do requests, I'm not taking any requests right now because I've got to finish my current list. But that's the way to contact me to do that or if you have any questions at all. I'm also on Twitter if uh, you'd like to receive tweets. My name is Web Piano Teacher on Twitter. Now let's get to this free part one here. Not very difficult. Um, a lot of the Beatles stuff is not very difficult, but really fun to play. So I recommend, if you're a beginner, play some of these Beatles songs. If you don't know any Beatles, then you should get to know them. <laughs> Listen to their stuff and uh, really get to know them because they're important. Um, you learn a lot from them. We're going to start with middle C and G in the right hand. And we're going to play that and go down to A with a thumb. We're going to do that four times. singing starts here once there was a way so we do it four more times okay when the singing starts here once there was a way follow the bass guitar. If you ever can't hear the left hand piano part, which is a very common thing, if you can't pick it out, listen to what the bass guitar is playing. That will tell you what to do. Alright, so A octave. I wrote one A, but we're going to do an octave A on the thumb, A on the pinky. Here's middle C, here's the next C down, so we're right in this area. We're going to continue with this pattern here with this C, G down to A four more times. One, two, to get back. So no reason for the red and blue, just play it like always. So D octave, this is F and A now, then down to A on the thumb, two times, one, two. We're going to go back to E and G, and then down to A one time, and then back down to D and F to A one time. Okay, so that's all there is in this part one. Hope you guys enjoy it.